Hey guys, 21 Omni 121 here with a 9 Dino Rabbit deck. Let's see how my hand, first hand's not great, but it's not bad. I can stun for a couple of turns and see. But Dino Rabbit really needs to go first, because if you summon that Rescue Rabbit first turn, some decks just auto lose to it. Um, it's a very auto pie. Ah, oh, he's playing Dark World. No, he's not even playing Dark World. Um, that's fine. He's playing the You Bell cards, which is okay. Hey, I guess, but I wouldn't get rid of a Solemn Judgment, it just seems too good to me. Um, and he also goes Neg 1 on that, so... I'm, pff, it's not a bad deck, it's a pretty interesting deck. I hope he gets to get some of his plays through, but... My opening hand wasn't bad, if you see, I was gonna maybe store for a couple turns, maybe attack with a Gwyber, Thunder King, and then I have even more protection after, see, double Torrential, double Deep Prison, you have lots and lots of protection in this in this sort of deck. Um, it's the stun deck. And it's such an autopilot deck. Most of the plays don't require too much thinking. Literally, I just picked this deck up today. In fact, well, I made it yesterday. And it's really, really easy deck to play. There's very, very little skill in it. Basically, store to you get your Rescue Rabbit, and then you summon Lagia, or Dolka, or one of those. Um, I'm going to summon Thunder King, because it's a pretty good stun card. Hopefully, it won't Torrential, uh, or... Bottomless or Solemn Warning or anything like that. Maybe he's going to do that after I summon. But technically I didn't ask if his summon was good. I'm going to set two cards and just end my turn. I'm just going to try and get rid of his resources as much as possible. Before I go for a Lagia play. Because once most of his resources are gone. He can't do much. Uh, yeah, effect is fine. I was not going to Valor it anyway. Um, unless he goes for a Sangan. I'm going to activate Torrential. If he goes for a Sangan, I'm, yeah, I'm going to activate Torrential, because why not? Like, obviously, maybe that wasn't the greatest play, but he was going to probably overlay for something else, like a Zen Mains. And Dino Rabbit, once you get a big, big monster on the field, they really can't handle, they can't handle it. So you have to quench it before it can de fully develop. Um, yes, his bus effects activates, he gets to add a card from his graveyard to his deck, or he could choose my Thunder King if he wishes to, and add it to my deck, I am perfectly fine with that as well. He's going to end his turn, that is fine, I'm going to try and gain that plus one if I can. I run Spirit Reaper because again, the Tyrant Rabbit can't handle big monsters, the Spirit Reaper allows you to just store for a bit, so you can wait for your deep prisons, for your compulsory evacuation devices, so you can go for a thing. Um, Okay, that's fine. I still get to discard a card from his hand. So, that's perfect. Technically, I would discard first, but I'm not too fast. His Trigodian only has 600 attack, and this guy, if I act remember you, Bell's effect, I can't sure about to take no damage when, when this face-up card um, is... When this face up attacked card is attacked, so he can't even attack and I take damage and he must tribute one other monster till the um he must tribute So I actually even got any rabbit plays out, but it's just a stun deck and there's not much else I can say. I don't particularly like using it and it's very, very autopilot deck. That's why I prefer Chaos Heroes. Even though that's reasonably autopilot, the, my favorite deck is Plant, but I'm going to play that a bit later. Um, he can special summon Thunder King. I'm not too fast. What is he going to go for? Um, I'll take damage. Like, uh, what's his attack? 600. So I take 300. And then I will take. 1600. I'm not too fast because I can attack over Tragodia if I want. Well, he's actually going to negate it. I probably should have deprisoned one of them. I'm not too fast. Not too bad at misplay. But again, with these sort of decks, even if you make a misplay, it it doesn't even matter because like you can make so many misplays and it won't make a difference. It's ridiculous. Um, MST not a bad card. Um. I could, in fact, attack over his Thunder King if I need to with um, Leviathan Dragon. I don't think it's worth it, so I'm going to switch this to defense mode 
summon a Sabersaurus and just bump heads with his um, Thunder King. Well, it's actually my Thunder King. And then main phase 2, set and end, because he's only down to 2 cards and he has to tribute a card. That's the problem with Yubel. It's a pretty good card, but you have to destroy it at the end of your turn if you don't have another monster. So unless you have like a level eater combination, it's going to get destroyed and it can't attack. So, yeah. That's that's the problem with you, Bell. Uh, I'm probably going to end phase MST because you can activate the Call of the Horde, for example, if MST it after. Um, wait, you take no. When this face up is it's attacked by opponent's monster. Okay. It's only when it is attacked. It's only when it's attacked, not when it attacks. And he has to. I don't see what he was doing, but um. And I'll MST his back row, and I'm pretty sure he's getting this guy's higher rating than me. He should pretty much not. He's only got less experience, I guess. But um. I I don't know. I'm just gonna go for the this play because I can and attack him directly, get rid of his final card in his hand, and then I basically win again. This is Sun Deck. What else are you going to do with it? I'm 5-1 to one now, and I would like to be weird because often they won't set many cards because they're afraid that you're going to log here or something like that, and then what else are they going to do? I'm going to switch my Spirit to Defense Mode because why not? And I'm not actually going to summon another monster, just in case it is a Torrential. I know I won't be too negative, I do have a lot of protection, but I don't think it's particularly worth it either. Because I couldn't make it game this turn either way. Because even with the extra 376, he'd be on 2,000, he'd be on 2,000 life points. Um, which is fine. He can Foolish Burial Dandelion? Spore? I don't know what Foolish Burial can do at this point. King face, if you control no spell traps, you can special summon this card from your graveyard face up. Attack which you control of this card takes 1000 damage during each of the standby phases. So, yeah, I, I guess it's just a use for tributing. But, um, that technically wouldn't even be game either. So, I'm just going to attack again. Because when you have field presence and you've basically got game, there's no point falling into torrential. Because there isn't a point in doing it. If you can win without doing it, you can move about. Sometimes it's good to overextend, and sometimes when you feel you're going to win comfortably, there isn't a point. Um, yeah, I'm just going to attack again, because he has to set, because otherwise Spirit Reaper will plop it out of his hand. Um, which one? Okay, he can set this. Main phase 2. I can't actually uh, flip summon it, because I tried to, attempted to attack with it. So I can't change his battle position, but that must mean he's in a desperate situation at the moment. Um, I reckon I have enough field presence at the moment to go for game, basically. So I'm going to summon my Kabazulos, um overlay for a Lagia, and then if he has anything, I can negate it, and then I'm just going to go for game, because that's enough damage this turn. Because now I had to compulse just in case I need to add my Spirit Reaper back for any sort of reason. But yeah, that's a good game. Yeah. Okay, I guess the main aim is for him to summon Yubel as fast as possible. But again, it's a simple stun deck. I hope you enjoy the battle, but it was pretty autopilot. I was just rambling on for a bit. Anyway, 21 on me, 21, signing out.